What's up, Vivans? Today is a Thanksgiving Day episode where we are going through all of the wines that you could ever possibly need for your Thanksgiving Day festivities, and I'm telling you exactly where to get them and making it very, very easy. Stay tuned. Most of you are going to be doing a lot of your holiday shopping here at Whole Foods. I figured I'd take you around with me so I can show you exactly what you should be picking up so you can get all of your shopping done all at once. So we'll start with the most obvious pairing for Thanksgiving and that is a little Pinot Noir. Alright, so we're back from Whole Foods and you guys saw exactly where to go to find some wines for Thanksgiving. When we're talking about Thanksgiving, there are a couple things to keep in mind. One is not everyone has the same Thanksgiving. Most of you are going to have turkey, but I know a lot of you out there are not going to do the traditional turkey thing. There's just going to be a lot of different foods. So my feeling in how to approach Thanksgiving Day wine pairings is have a few different options and keep everything very accessible and easy. And that is sort of my general approach to how to do Thanksgiving. So for my family, for how we're doing Thanksgiving, I'm having several different options, a lot in large format, uh, meaning magnums are larger, of a few different things that I think are gonna pair well with a lot of different foods. So um, let's get started because there's a lot of different ways to handle this. So you guys saw me walking through Whole Foods, grabbing a few bottles. The most classic thing to do, the thing that you're gonna see most of the articles talking about, most other videos talking about, is going to be things like Pinot Noir and light bodied reds. It's a great pairing. People talk about it because it works. Um, two of my favorites, one that I talked about already, the Mira Pinot Noir. You guys have seen that in my under $100 California Pinots. I love Mira. This is the Stanley Ranch, a slightly more affordable version of the Pinot Noir that they make. Really nice kind of spicy fall red. It's gonna go really nice with everything from turkey to chicken to even if you wanted to do some sort of beef dish as well. Really, really nice. And then of course, Cru Beaujolais. Not the Nouveau Beaujolais that I was talking about the other day. This is the Cru Beaujolais, the specific place from Beaujolais that makes a very serious red wine that is like a baby burgundy emulate sort of like a Pinot Noir style wine really nice kind of spicy fall red this is Don Louis de Trev. this is gonna be a little bit more difficult to find I tried to give you guys some things that you could find some things that were slightly more obscure all different because everyone has different Thanksgivings and the Calera that I picked up before in Whole Foods that's an awesome example of a great high acid light bodied Pinot Noir that's really fantastic under $30 if you're in Whole Foods which is where I know a lot of you are gonna be doing your shopping for Thanksgiving Thanksgiving, that's an easy one to find as far as the light body red department. Now, if you feel like you need some white wine, I'm a big fan of Riesling at Thanksgiving. I think Riesling is a great way to appeal to a lot of different people and it's also a very food friendly dish. So one of the ones that I love is this Alsatian Grand Cru Riesling. Again, not an easy one to find, but just keep that principle in mind when you're looking for wine. Just look for a great Alsatian Grand Cru Riesling or regular Riesling. You can find them usually around 20 to $30. They're really great for pairing with lots of different foods because of the high acid profile and a slight sort of viscosity and sweetness that Alsatian Rieslings have. Two kind of general wines that you can pair with lots of different foods that are very fruit friendly. Now, one of the wines that I think people forget about a lot that is fantastic with lots of different foods is sparkling wine. And I think sparkling wine is one of the great universal wines that you can pair with tons of different dishes and have it work with a lot of different things. But of course, champagne is very expensive. And if you've got a lot of people coming to dinner, it's not really economical to be buying $50 bottles of champagne and serving them throughout the entire evening and throughout the entire day. So what do you do? I thought these were two awesome examples of how to approach the sparkling wine thing without going to the $50 price bracket. You maybe have seen me talk about Bruet before from New Mexico. This is an awesome sparkling wine from the United States, actually from New Mexico, that is made in the Champagne Methods. This is the Brut Rosé. It's completely dry, all coming from New Mexico, and it's an awesome sparkling wine with a lot of texture, a lot of intensity and in fruit, but on the dry side of things. So if you are thinking about how to pair everything from mashed potatoes to sweet potatoes to green beans, 
means sparkling wine because it is so universally appealing and so pairable with tons of different dishes is a great way to go. And this is an awesome way to do it for not a lot of money. This retails for about $13 or $14. So very, very affordable. You can literally let it take you from appetizers all the way through the end of your meal. It's just an incredibly easy wine. My favorite, my first pick for Thanksgiving dinner is actually a wine that I discovered when I was in New York. It was a wine that I was really, really excited about, but it's a very misunderstood wine. So this is Bougie Sardon. This is actually going to be a sparkling, lightly, very slightly sweet red wine. And I actually rediscovered this wine at a free Michelin star restaurant in Chicago called Grace. They used this wine to pair a dish that was a steak dish, it was a Wagyu dish, and it was so incredibly beautiful and I forgot how food friendly this wine was. So I happened to be at Whole Foods a few weeks ago and I saw this wine was there and it's $19.99. I am so excited to make this my number one pick for Thanksgiving this year. This is the Bougie Sardon. I'm gonna open it up. It is so friendly on the palate. It's so delicious and palatable. I am obsessed with this wine and I really think you guys are gonna like it too. So it's something a little bit different. Ooh, professional. I am not going to be serving my wines in a wine glass. The reason I'm not serving my wines in a wine glass is because I have 15 people coming to dinner and one dishwasher. So I'm actually going to be serving it in small square, just cylinder glasses, kind of old Italian style. And that way people can feel like they can try lots of different wines, move them around. And this wine will also do really, really well in just an easy, simple glass. And I'll, I'll give you an example of it. Luigi Serdong, lightly sparkling wine. It's got a really pretty pink hue to it. It, it kind of looks like bubble gum right now. And I know you're out there like, oh my God, is she crazy? Yes, a little bit. Hey. <laughs> it's my Thanksgiving one. Yes. So we'll let this settle down. Why do I love this wine? It has everything you want from this wine and everything you want from this wine and this wine all in one. So you've got texture, richness, the sparkling component, which makes it really, really easy to pair throughout the entire meal. And you've also got light sweetness to it. When you're talking about things like turkey, which is not the most friendly meat on the planet, it's a little bit dry. And even if you're frying your turkey, you're smoking your turkey, you're throwing the turkey in the oven, turkey is a really tough meat. It's not a friendly meat. It's typically very dry. And even when you do fry it, even when you do smoke it, it tends to have, tends to need a little bit of fruit. So I love the Bougie Sardone because it has the fruit to sort of act as sort of a sauce for that. It also is a little bit more red fruited, which in Thanksgiving dinner, you're dealing with a lot of different red fruited dishes. So you've got cranberry sauce, you've got a lot of those like pomegranate flavors, you've got a lot of those apple flavors, you've got a lot of fall fruits, and that's what's in this sparkling wine. I also really love that this is only 8% alcohol. I don't know how your Thanksgiving goes, but my Thanksgiving and the reason I love Thanksgiving is it's an all day affair. So we get up early, we make breakfast, we watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and we go all day. I like to be able to go all day. I don't wanna be wasted at four o'clock in the afternoon. I actually want something a little bit more light bodied and lighter in alcohol so that I can continue going all throughout the day. And this is an amazing wine to do it. It's at Whole Foods, it's $19.99, it's imported by Kermit Lynch. And I think this is an amazing Thanksgiving day wine pairing. And I think you guys are really gonna like this. You think I'm crazy. Oh God, it's got such a good savoriness too. I can just imagine this with like cranberry sauce and turkey. It's got such a great like fall spiciness to it, but a richness to it. It's such a good Thanksgiving day wine. And I hope that Whole Foods thought so too, which is why they finally brought it in. If you guys think I'm crazy and you're like, there's no way that I'm serving this sparkling bougie serdon to my family. They are gonna think I'm insane. That's fine. Go with one of the classics. These are all very classic pairings. If you want to do something even more classic, you can go the Coach Rhone route, which is Paul Jabolet. This was $9.99 at Whole Foods. Paul Jabolet is a very classic producer in the Rhone. This is their Cote de Rhone. So this is gonna be a blend of Grenache, Syrah, Morbed. Very, very spicy, very medium bodied, not too overwhelming. A little bit more full body than the Pinot Noir. If you don't really like light body Pinot Noir, so this is an awesome way to go. And $10 for a great producer. In the Rhone, I think this is a killer bottle of wine. If you are not doing turkey and you're only doing things like roasted meat, roasted dates, 
roasted beef, um, something a little heavier. This was also at Whole Foods. I know this wine from Columbia Valley. This is Malbec. This is the Undaunted Malbec, and this is also gonna have that really nice kind of spicy pepper component. Cabernet is also totally fine if you're going that route, but this was around $15 and a steal for this wine. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this if you wanna go that heavier red route. But Thanksgiving is a very fun day. It's my favorite day of the year because it's a day dedicated to eating and drinking. Price, prize, I love it. That said, if I had to pick one wine to drink for the entire day, this is it. I think this is the way to go. Buy yourself a bottle for $19.99. It's fantastic. Also, if you buy six at Whole Foods, you get a 10% off. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I wanted to keep it short and sweet because I know that you have so much going on. You have so much to do and I wanted to keep it really easy for you to find great wines. You don't have to make multiple stops because I know there's a ton of things going on in everyone's lives during the holidays. So this was the easiest, most efficient way to do it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit subscribe and like. I will try to throw up a few more alternative pairings up on my Instagram stories over the next few days, so make sure you are following me at Sambion on Instagram. As I've said before, if you are looking at these wines and you're like, wait, I'm going to a restaurant for Thanksgiving, I don't know how to select wine for my family, for my friends when we're there, make sure you click below. I've got a free five-part mini course on how to order wine properly at a restaurant so you don't feel overwhelmed. You can spend lots of time with your family and friends and not even have to think about it. So make sure you click below for that. I wish you all a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope to see you soon.